everyone, my name is Anna and I'm really excited to welcome you on a new season of the program My Home. We've got the new setting here and pretty much ready to welcome our first guest. My today's guest and a friend of mine is a talented calligraphy and lettering artist, an educator and a beautiful soul, Sana Maruf. Hi, Anna. Hello, Sana. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right. Really happy to see you here and here. welcome Thank you. to our new studio, my new home. It's a good <laughs> setup. End it. I am really happy that you like it because you are an artist and you have an eye on it, right? So, yes, thank you. So your feedback is pretty much appreciated. All right, have a seat and I'll get you some water. Here we go. It's getting pretty hot outside, so yeah. It's it important. Is. Yeah. It's important to stay. It's too early for that hot weather, but it's getting really hot. Yeah, so it's important to stay hydrated, so get some. All right, Sanam. How was your way here to the studio? Did it take long? It wasn't taking long and it was pretty easy to get here. Okay, and also, you know, we've been scheduling this recording so for yes. so long. <laughs> for really so happened. long, yeah. But finally we are here and it's happening. Yeah, that's true. All right, so I know that you are a teacher here at Cambridge International School and um, what is the subject that you're teaching? I'm teaching biology for upper grades. Okay, and how do you enjoy that, the teaching? Um, teaching away from teaching the book, it's also like, you know, teaching that generation and raising them and shaping them because one day they would be the leaders in the society. So I'm enjoying showing them the way and guiding them. So what do you mean that you give given more than just the lectures the book. and the yes. book yeah yes, and that exactly. is that is important and pretty much amazing and i know that you've got your passion for education learning and teaching from your parents right exactly because both my parents they're now retired teachers and one is like they used to be the teachers in the same educational field so yeah i like i learned so much from them long ago and now i'm practicing it even in a better way like whatever advice i got from them i'm now using it for like in better use and to, you know, helping the people here, the students here. That's interesting. And can you give some examples? Have you, have you faced some situations with your students where uh, you could apply the advice which your parents gave you and implement them while teaching or, uh, you know, giving advice to your students? Yeah, of course. So, uh, you know, when I was a little kid, I was with my mom. My mom was the manager in the school, so we used to go there together. And on the way going to school and going home, she was always saying, if you want to make a change, you need to do it from the roots. So now what I'm doing, I'm like applying that and teaching my students as well. So uh, because, you know, teachers, they can make great changes. Like students, they spend most of their time with the teachers in the school rather than at home. So we are a big part in raising them and in teaching them. So I always wanted to be the teacher that I wished to see when I was a student. And now I'm becoming that teacher for my students. And I am like, you're really happy when they tell me that, Miss, like you're the best teacher. And we wish that every teacher would be like you. So that makes me really happy. It's so amazing and pretty much in inspiring. Yeah. And I like this phrase, I like this quote, which you said that if you want to change something, you have to change it from, you have to start from the roots. Exactly, yeah, from the roots, because then this would be going on and this would like uh, set the path. That is great. And you know, um, I follow your Instagram page where you share your art and it's called Calligraphy Seed. Yes. And I think it kind of connected to this quote as well, you know, Calligraphy Seed. Yes, exactly. Seed. Yeah. So it's like you're planting something in order to... Um, yeah, because you know, this has been the passion since when I was a little kid. I remember when I was a student in the school in primary and in high school, the teacher was uh, showing my notebook as an example to the other students to, you know, just follow the same way that I'm writing, using uh, different colors and keeping it clean, writing every note in the right positions. So it has been a passion deep inside me. And back then when I was a student, I was always like dreaming to hopefully one day uh, to turn it to something or to practicing it and to, you know, just getting people to know about this beautiful art because unfortunately not many people, they know about calligraphy and lettering art. So after I graduated, I actually thought about it. Why not just practicing? Because 
um, all the way till I graduated, I was um, like gifting sometime some like pieces of letters to closed ones, to beloved ones, and they were like actually um, encouraging me. Why don't you start again and just continue? I was just so lazy back then, but then I just decided. So yeah, I named it calligraphy seed because, as I said, this is deep inside me as a passion, and I'm sure that the seed is going to grow with enough care and attention. It's going to grow into so, something yeah. bigger than that, yes, and that yes, is amazing. Exactly. And I know what interesting is that I know that a lot of people who come from outside the region, outside our build, they bring something new to the society. But here it's vice versa. You are from here originally, but yes. this is your passion, which you still decided to bring to everyone here, to everyone around you, right? So mm -hmm. can you tell um, some more about the place you were born? Are you from Erbil originally, yes, right? Yes, I'm originally from here, raised and studied here, finished my uh, BSc degree from Salahadin uh, University. And I started my career as a teacher uh, seven years ago from the international schools in the region. And I really enjoy teaching because, as I mentioned previously, it's more than just teaching the book. It's guiding the students and, you know, shaping them for the greatest leaders in the future. And that is impressive. Seven years of experience as a teacher. Um, and how about the hobby, your passion? How long you've been doing that? How long you've been Officially, uh, I started from July 2019, like, few years ago, uh, not too long actually, but as I said, it was deep inside me, the, the true passion I can say. So I started officially from 2019 and hopefully I can grow it to, you know, taking it to a different level. Um, it's happening now, you know, with all the things that's happening around due to COVID-19, we are having the chance to participate in the online courses and developing the skills. So I'm working on that side as well. So you got a little bit more time to practice. Yes, and I would rather use that time for something that helps me in the future rather than just wait, wasting it on the social media or maybe playing video games. So I hope everyone would think in this way. And yes, exactly. That is a really great advice and example. So instead of just being bored or upset, just find something. Sometimes it's good to feel boring because some great ideas would come at that point. Uh, but at the same time, uh, like developing the skills and, uh, you know, just trying to learn something new, it's always a good thing. If you, if you wouldn't like to take any online courses because it's also like, you know, taking so much energy and it needs someone to tolerate that online because it's not a physical class to see the teacher, to feel the vibe and the energy. If, you, if you're this type that you don't want to actually take the online class, you can just read the books. And there are many, many applications. You can, you know, just tap it on the phone and you can have the access to it. Great. And my next question is about your hobby, your art and connection to the education. Do you combine sometimes your hobby and the educational process? Uh, sometimes it gets to the point, yeah, that both can be meeting education and uh, the hobby at the same time. Because while I'm practicing my hobby and sharing it with different people around me, at the same time, my main purpose is to deliver the energy, is to deliver the message that I want to tell everyone, like to keep going, to stay positive, to have the sense of gratitude and, uh, you know, to do the things that make them happy. So it's a kind of uh, teaching them, but different things rather than just a book in the school. And that is great. You know, I also wish that I had teachers like that, like <laughs> teachers like you, actually. Thank you. And, um, you know, I've got a lot of questions to ask, but I think it's time for us to look into some of your art pieces. Yeah. And while doing so, I would offer you some coffee or tea. What would you prefer to have? Coffee, please. All right, just give me a minute. Yes. <laughs> All right, Sana, I know that uh, your art is pretty much connected to our life, right? Yes. I saw a couple of your paintings which say, uh, but first tea coffee. or first coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I think you have two, right? So I have both, yeah. One says first 
coffee. How does it sound in? It's in Arabic, right? It's in Arabic and English. It's both languages, like a combined English with a word in Arabic, because you know, so many followers they ask me, why don't you uh, do it in in Arabic? Why only English? Because unfortunately, people here they're not very familiar with the language. So I decided, yeah, I can start with that, combining both English and Arabic, and then I can develop it to have only Arabic uh, items. So and I really love those two. Yeah, but thank the you. The one, but first coffee. How yeah. does it sound in Arabic? It's but first kahwa. But first kahwa. But yes. No, say it in uh, Arabic. But how do you say the fu the full phrase in um, in Arabic? بس قهوة بالأول. Okay, here you go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> here you go. That's your coffee. Thank you. And yeah, and I really love that. You know, it's a really good decoration for the kitchen, for everyone's home, for the coffee shops as well, for the coffee shops yes. as well. I really like how inspirational it is. It is, and how close to people's soul your yeah. art is. Yeah, it is. It is close to them because so many people they are drinking coffee on a daily basis, and they get energy from the coffee that they drink. So they're impressed that, like, they're impressed by all the uh, like quotes about the coffee. All right. So now I think we can go and have a look at some of your yeah. artwork. Okay, and here are your favorite or. The famous, I'd say, yes. famous pieces. This is first, but first coffee, and this is but first tea. 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 Yeah. And uh, once again, what inspired you, and which piece did you create first? I come up with that one first, and then people they will come with the idea because, as you see, I put some coffee beans around, and this gives us the unique touch that we don't actually have this kind of the frame in the like markets here, the local markets. So after I have seen that people are really interested about this art with the real coffee beans, and I said, why not the tea? So I come up with the tea as well, and fortunately, people also love that one too. And you know what I like about the tea one? The little pieces of this spice called head, right? Yes, yes, exactly. I, I really like it, and I love how people add this. Yeah, because it gives extra taste and smell as well to the tea. And also, it looks pretty. It is, yeah, thank you. And I'm really surprised that you create your art in uh, two languages right now, right? It has English. So far, yeah, yeah. It's so far in two languages. However, the Arabic is the, just the beginning. Uh, but I will definitely develop it and taking it to the different level. How about Kurdish? Kurdish as well. It's one of the like on the top to-do list. Uh, and I have some other artists. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me right now. But I also have it for the Kurdish, like you know, to inspire Kurdish and related to the culture as well. And that is great. It is yeah, thank that you. That is amazing. And we've got some nice cups here, and I love the art you create with a simple cup. And then this is one of my favorite, and it says, you are my cup of tea, right? So yeah. what have inspired you to create this piece of um, You know, those two are coming together, and it is specifically for the couples. Like, one would be interested in the coffee, and the other one would pick the tea, so they can actually, you know, showing their love for each other, you're my whole latte, and you're my cup of tea. So those two would be adding value to their love story. This is amazing. Yeah, thank you. I think I will get one as well. <laughs> and I also love, uh, just really adore this one. That is, you are the legend. And you said that this... It is for daddy, yeah? For daddy. Yeah. I have written the daddy word, abi, in Arabic and the others in English. So that this would be a combination between both languages. So because, you know, our daddies are the first heroes for us. Like, no matter how old we are, we still need them. And no matter where we go, we still, like, um, seek for their help and advices. And that is true. They are our legends. Yes, they are. Yeah. So, you guys, you have to definitely get one of this for your dads. We also have one for the mom, uh, but they go somehow both together. Okay. So, this one is for mom? Yes, And what it does is. it say? It says... Uh, al Habaib, me, you the queen. So again, it's between Arabic language and the English to describe the love for the moms. Uh, yeah. And you're right, mom is the queen and uh, dad yeah, is the is. legend. Yeah, 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 they're both. <clears throat> I really like how your art actually reflects the family uh, relationship and importance yes. of the family, about the love and friendship within the family. And it's very important because. Not so many people sometimes value it, you know? 
Yes, yes, that's true. Uh, not so many people, they value the uh, love and, you know, the strength from the family. But trust me, if it's not within the family that they support you, you won't be getting anywhere. Like always, always the support should be coming from the family because they are your strength and they are your core. Um, for me, my parents, they have been the number one supporters in all my life. And when I started my art journey, they absolutely loved the idea and they supported me till today and I'm sure for the future as well. And that is great. I really love that. Okay, so I think now it's time to get some tips and tricks yes, how please. to start your art journey, right? Yes, everyone can develop that skill with some, you know, tips from here and there and some energy from them themselves actually. They can develop and they can learn that. So that was the uh, family part of your art. But I also know that you are involved in so many projects which are related to volunteering, volunteering job, especially supporting the animals. And that's something I would like to know about and hear more about. Yes. You also can um, have a seat. So regarding the work that we, uh, that I participated in the art fairs, and that was actually mainly to support the animals in Kurdistan because uh, the money that they were collecting from this art fair, they were spending it to, uh, you know, for the animals to be saved, for the shelter, for the food that they need, and anything else. And I also, uh, like, participated in another uh, activity that we were helping the uh, cancer patients from the cancer center in Erbil, uh, mainly with the kids, because, you know, kids, they enjoy art and they enjoy drawing, so luckily I was a part of that and I actually dealt with some of the patients there. They were really, really happy when uh, I was, you know, lettering their words, their letters and also their names. They were really happy about that. And that is amazing. And then how much time does it take to do this, do all this extra work? It depends, actually. Like, if you would like to, like, you know, just participating in something small, then, of course, you won't be needing too much time. But if it is a big project, like the one that we started from last year, it was, uh, we were aiming to have a, an art exhibition for the uh, artists. It wasn't only me. We were a group of artists all together. And we were helping the cancer patients from Nana Kelly Hospital. But unfortunately, COVID happened and, you know, cancer people, they have less immune system, like very weak immune system, we can say. Um, so we stopped that project and we are hopefully waiting that things would go back to normal and we can start again. Uh, so if we talk about that project, of course, it would take so much time because those patients, sometimes they just don't have enough energy. Maybe they, would, they wouldn't be in a good mood to draw or to listen to you about, you know, to talk about art, for example. So this is about that one. And if you would like to draw something just fun for yourself, then it would take less than time, like less time and shorter time. Yeah, that, that is understood. And you know, how about people who have no idea about volunteering job, but they feel that they have this time, they have this energy to invest in, you know, helping people. How they can find out the places to go to volunteer? How did you find out about all these volunteering projects? You know, firstly, that people, like those people, should be having the passion, the passion to learn something new, a skill maybe related to art or whatever. And I believe anyone can develop that skill with a little bit of energy and a little bit of time to spend on that, then they can develop it. I can share some of my tips throughout my experience that I have learned, because, you know, sometimes I'm making some pieces of the art and then by the end I mess it because I wouldn't realize that there is some paint on my hand and I just, you know, put it on the paper. So I need to repeat it again. And I have learned some other tips I can share with the audience so they can learn. Yeah, this is regarding the art. But um, my question was also about people and everyone who's watching right now. If they wish to volunteer, where, do sh where should they go? For example, I would like to volunteer. Where should I find the information about places like that? Like the cancer center, which you mentioned, the art fairs, or any other places to volunteer? You know, nowadays, everything is happening on social media. Like, whatever going around is just going to be posted on social media. And any organization here, any, let's say, 
uh, charity or whatever that they are helping those people. They have got their account on social media, Instagram or maybe Facebook, that they're the most popular ones. Uh, so you can follow them and you can check up with them. Sometimes you can just simply volunteering for them and helping them. It shouldn't only be, uh, you know, to um, practice some art with, you know, those people. You can just help them in a different way. Anything we could yeah yeah could anything do. you can offer you can just you know be a great uh, help for them and that is great and then the main point here is to pay attention and be mindful yes really look for information and you will find it right exactly yeah and that what happens whenever you have something in mind the universe gives you the ideas right exactly yeah and you're gonna find the way easily but if you only really you know just going for it okay and yes now you mentioned some tips and tricks on how to create yes. art and, and have, you said that yeah. we can we can actually practice and do some right now yes i have got some paper here with the pencils that we will need so i will try to you know teaching you hopefully and people would get the benefit as well all right sana now it's the time to dive into some art and i can't wait to practice and maybe create something beautiful today Yes, let's do this. So, so what do we need? We need more space, I guess, right? So yes, I'm gonna please, move this more here. space and, and I've here. got, got um, this. Um, a paper and a ruler because we need to measure. Okay. And one for me, um, you're gonna follow whatever like step I would be doing, okay? All right, okay. So first of all, we need the pencils. Uh, the point why do, we make, why do we use the pencil is to make things easier for ourselves, please. All right. uh, because whenever we have got a mistake, we can just erase it and we can just redo it easily. But can we explain to everyone who's watching what tools do you actually need to start practicing calligraphy? What um, kind of paper you need to get? Because I see that that is pretty thick yeah, one. Yeah, you know? it's not actually an, a normal A4 paper. It's like somehow hard. Yeah. So it gives it like, you know, a better shape and a better structure. So uh, we also have different markers here. Uh, as you see, the tip is different, and mm -hmm. I've got some more here. This one is especially for calligraphy. As you see, it's somehow a uh, different shape. Pointed, yes. right, and then cut. Uh, yes, on and the this edge. one as well, but this is smaller than that one. So, for example, um, uh, if anyone goes to the uh, stationery, yes, stationery, they, they can, can just get say it that from the stationery. Yeah. Do they need to ask um, um, for the calligraphy? It's better if they ask that they need uh, calligraphy supplies mm -hmm. because, as I said, uh, with normal markers, they can do as well. But the calligraphy uh, markers would be better because as you hear, this one, mm -hmm. it has got like, you know, a ball inside because it's ink. Yeah, it's, it's liquid. Not, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's liquid and it's ink. It's not like normal uh, pens and, and markers. And how about the pencils? I, I see that you have got like a pretty <laughs> fancy set of pencils here. It's, they're not regular pencils, right? Yeah, they are for the artists as well. I prefer to go with the 5B as it is like, you know, softer when mm -hmm. we are just trying to sketch. Because okay. firstly, we need to sketch, and then yeah. we're going to go using the different color that you would be choosing. So 5B is the softest? So, or it goes it softer. depends on different people, like whatever yeah. they feel comfortable with. I, I found like, that 5B is going to be the best for me. So the pencil got cold. What is the hardest pencil? Uh, I think uh, the B here, the only the B, mm -hmm. that's written as you see. We have got H, uh, B, and then B alone, and then F as well. Mm -hmm. Those are for, you know, different uh, purposes of the sketching. Okay, mine is 5B. Yes, mine as well, so... Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. All right, so let's begin. All right, the first thing you need to outline, which, like, um, you first need to choose what you would be drawing. For example, today we can uh, write the letter A. Okay. okay. Yeah. Since it's your letter, so we can choose that letter, and then you would be uh, drawing a frame on the paper. All right. Okay. So I prefer to measure one centimeter on each side, and then, as you see, I would be putting a little bit, you know, a little, um, you know, Mark here, yeah. yes, here, and then. So we will continue measuring one centimeter, but this is too much that you've put. As you see here, mine is barely seen. And this would be making it easier for me when I erase. This is the first thing that they need okay. to be careful with. Yeah. And then one more centimeter on the other two sides as well. Uh, make sure that you, you press on the pencil slightly. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to connect uh, the, so dots. That, yeah, the dots that we have put here. So we can have a frame. And then if you would like, uh, you can choose different color for the frame, for the outer frame. 
All right. Um, so, um, but how do you, do you connect? Do you draw the line completely yes, until yes, the yes, end, right? Yes, so yes, exactly. the line goes until yes, the end. all the way. Yeah. Mine is almost but done again, here. I'm not pressing on it. Yeah. That much. And especially when we uh, start the letter A, it's very important to never press on the pencil too much. It's so satisfying just to draw the lines. Yeah. You know, it's kind of <clears throat> relaxing. In it a is, way. yeah. Let's see. I've got the, the last, last one. one. And then you are so quick. Takes time for me. Practice. <laughs> All right, so got yeah. it. The so friends. since we are having letter A, and as you see, as you know, uh, letter A has got wider base than the top, yes. right? So we're going to, uh, like, point out the middle of the page, as you see here. This page is almost 21 centimeter. Yeah. Okay, so half of it, it's becoming about 10 and a half, 10 mm -hmm. and a half centimeter. So we're going to mark it here. Okay, because we want to have the letter A like on the center of the yes. paper. And then we're going to uh, mark the bottom as well for the base, base. of the letter A. Again, it's, uh, as you see, we have about uh, 21. So we're going to measure. Or we can actually do in a different way if you would like to measure from that point to here, let's say three centimeters. Yes. We can do that. So we're going to uh, count until, let's say, three centimeters or four centimeters would be better, okay. yeah? So it is four centimeters here. We need to make sure to have the same four centimeters on the other One, side two, as well. Three, four, okay. seventeen is... Yes, so is now different. we are having three pointers, two here, one there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I've got yes. as well. Okay, but listen, we don't want to put the letter A directly here on that line. We want to make sure that we're going to leave some space here and at the top as well. Yeah, that's okay. right. Because we have got some space at the edges here, at the sides. We're going to make sure on the top and on the bottom as well. I prefer to measure the same uh, as the ruler, and then I will mark it here. Okay. And for me... Uh, make sure that it is uh, very slightly, uh, you know, you just press on it very slightly. All right. Yeah. You can see it clearly, but okay. I didn't press. So now I have got the space that I want to put the letter. Okay. All right. So what we are going to do, you're going to think about the design. Would you like to go for the flourish design, the block design, the bouncy design? Because, you know, we've got different designs. Or maybe you can come up with a different thing in your mind. Like, you can be creative. Okay. So I personally like flourish okay, design. Okay, flourish. flourish yeah. But mm -hmm. I really like the idea of bouncy. I don't know what kind of design it is, if you could explain. Um, yeah. Uh, bouncy is somehow, like, slightly tilted. Mm -hmm. that the letters are not very, you know, in, in, a, in a rigid shape, let's it's say. It's like a cursive? Yes. In a way? Yes. But uh, I think it's going to be difficult, right? Uh, Which so one is easier? We can do the flourish if you would like, or we can do, like, anything in your mind. You can be creative, by the way. There shouldn't be any limits that you just go in this style or in this design to All choose right. that this style or design. Let's combine bouncy and flourish designs. Okay, possible. <laughs> so I would prefer to... Um, so we're going to choose the capital letter, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. So as you see from here, that point, but we're going to start on that line. Yeah. Again, your line is... <laughs> Too thick. Yes, but that's fine. So the first we time. can connect here, but very slightly, because we may go wrong and we need to erase. So Should I draw just one. a straight line? Yes. Here. Okay, let's see. My hand is shaking. <laughs> Honestly, well, it's, it's not straight at all. Look you can it. you can here uh, make sure that you're gonna have the end of that part of the letter A like that. Like I'm drawing a curve here. Yes. Okay, that doesn't look curvy, good. but that's fine. Okay. So what we are going to do this time, if you would like, you can start from here, and you can do like this way, or maybe we can have a straight line here to that point that we have drawn before. Can I use the ruler to draw this line straight? Possible, yes, possible. You can because use for that, me, it's, that, yeah. it's too wavy, I don't know. I'm, I believe if I practice more, it's going to get better, but for today, yeah, just not that easy. All right, so now it looks better. So now we won't be leaving that line like that. It's yeah. very thin, and we want to make it bold enough. So what we are going to do... Uh, oh, wait a second. You, this, yeah. The second you line... You message that line. So it I'm just going goes to straight. Wait. Yeah. 
Good. The ruler makes it look perfect. Okay. So I, like I will be making it a bit thicker, as thick as you wish. Right. Again, there is not any limit, and you shouldn't actually be sticking to a thickness. You All can right. choose. So I'll use the... Yeah. The but make sure when you get down, it would be thinner. Okay, so the end oh, would be more pointy. Really? I yes. was going okay. to do the opposite, actually. Uh, we are somehow going away from the style that we have chosen yeah. at the beginning, okay. but that's okay. Still would be okay. How about this? Um, well, we can fix it here. You know, as you get down, you can fix it like that. I prefer to do it with my hand rather than using the ruler. Maybe this is because I've been, you know, practicing yeah. somehow longer than you. Okay, I'm um, yeah. Should I erase, Just erase that part? Yeah. All right. So as I said, to the end, more point here. Okay. Looks so nice. Now. We can fill that one with the color, and we can choose a design on the other side. And we still have got another part for the letter A. Uh, would you like to have a straight line, or maybe something like that? I like the curvy one. Yeah, the curvy Looks one. Good. Okay. So you can go this way, or maybe you can have it that way. You know, again, it's your decision. I'll whatever try. Way. Yeah. I'll so, try it this way. How about that? Yeah, possible. <laughs> it's still looking good. Yeah. Again, we want to go thick for that part as well. So make sure that you're going to, you know, fill that space here and you somehow connect that one with that one. So you won't be having that space here left. As you see, mine is also very small. Yes, I yeah. see that. Like that. Yeah, but and then connect here as well. Make sure you've got a nice curve. Okay, later, this one. Uh, we can fill that one as well, if you All wish, right. yeah. But should I use just the pencil or the marker? As you wish, you can choose the color, but after we finish it, yeah. sketching it, yeah. Okay, here we can make it somehow thicker and you can design in it, because we decided to go, you know, just filling that part here. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm shading it because I don't want to forget about it, that what we are going to do later. All right. Yeah. So I'll and keep it up. Yeah. If you would like, you can, again, make that one thick enough until, like, the bottom. It but shouldn't go pointy at the end. It just goes straight. Yes, same yes. as... I'll just use the rule to help me. Best. Okay. So now you've got here the top... You need to connect both, and that one as well. And I prefer to have it a little bit from the out so that I can make it like that. This would be giving it somehow a shape, you know? And I will go this way. So the best tip is that anyone can follow to make sure that their paper is clean and to make sure that their hand is also clean because sometimes, especially when it comes to the marker, as you use them, you need to be very careful. For example, you're going to fill that area here, and then you put your hand. You don't really realize that you put your hand here. Yeah, that's true. But then you're going to put it on another like, spot on the paper, and then it's just going to be ruining it. So it's important to keep it clean. And after we've finished everything, we can just erase the extra you know, lines, and it's going to be ready. So that is just the beginning. Or actually, we made... Um, we created the template, or how do you call it? The, yes. The base of the yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, the sketch we can say. Yeah. So, and now it's time to decorate. Yes, and you can color. choose the color. Yeah, you can choose the color. Purple? Uh, purple. Is that uh, the purple? Yeah. And for those pens that they have got a little ball inside, like that one, yeah. it is the best to shake it well because this way you're going to make all the ink inside to be mixed well. And then this one, you need to press it well, firstly. Okay. I would choose the uh, golden one, or maybe the black one. They're all the same. And where so, should we begin? From uh, the top or um, the Yeah, but let's press on that one here to make sure that the ink is well. Yeah, it comes out. Yeah, it is writing. Yeah, because sometimes you just need to, you know, give it a try before you actually put it on the paper. All right, so... Um, would you like to have any designers here? The flowers? Maybe, maybe yeah. Jay also draw with a pencil? You can directly go with the marker or you can draw it with the pencil. I'll add some flowers. Uh, 
you can add the flowers like that and also you can go just you know the right. decorating uh, strokes and lines yeah and, and you can use different colors for the flowers if you wish like you choose the purple for the let's say the main body of the letter and then you can choose uh, let's say green or pink or purple or whatever all right I think that's enough I think it looks good yeah okay so just coloring yeah uh, you can go first at the edge and then you can fill the inside Should we go across this line or I just yeah. need to make some space here? No, no, because by the end you're going to fill all of it, so that's fine. I'll be watching you and I won't be finishing my mine because I want to see how it will be turning around. All right, I'm just connecting yeah. all of the dots. Hmm. And uh, we also can use the paint, the normal paint, like acrylic or let's say any other types of the paint, and you can fill the space in. Like it shouldn't only be by the markers. And how much time, how long does it take to complete one letter like that? It depends. Like if you want to have a unique design, maybe something really special, then it would take more time than usual. But this is just something basic that we have done it now. And it still looks really nice. Yeah. I really like it. Um, you see here, I need to mention one point. Uh, Should I stop for a while? Yeah, that's fine. You continue. Okay. I'm almost done, you know, yeah. tracing the edges. And the last few. Yeah, you can develop that skill. All right. Okay. So here, you shouldn't actually get to that point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah because look at mine. I've. I've left some space here and here because this would be giving you know more space that's at the center yeah you're but right. still looking good as the first time you practice and good what do i do with this line should i raise it or just keep it you can just shade it with any color that you wish uh, and then using different color for the flowers okay so i think i will finish this piece of art a bit later <laughs> and then we can just show you see the difference so yeah. whatever you were explaining right now you see I so just crossed the, the edges yes, yeah. here and as you see my line is somehow uh, you know just uh, not too dark but yeah. yours is darker and you know the curve is somehow more balanced than yours but still very good as the beginning Thank yeah, you so much. Still, so uh, now, I also the see, now I also see understand what to do next and I can't wait to finish this project and then yes. try and draw something else. Yeah, everyone can develop the skill. All right, Sana, thank you so much. Now, anyone who is interested or got interested after today's program in this kind of hobby or activity, they can follow your page, your Instagram page for more designs. Yes, they can. Could you please remind the name of the page? Calligraphy oh. Seed, or they can just type Sana Marov and they will find me. And we will also put it here on the screen so you guys can find it and follow up. But also, you know, before we end today's program, I would like to, to give um, an advice to our audience. Something yeah. would you recommend, maybe a good habit which they can implement starting from today. Um, yeah, remember. everyone, no matter how old they are, they should be investing in their health, building healthy habits, for example, sleeping early at night, waking up early in the morning, drinking plenty of water, having the sense of gratitude because, you know, no matter how much you have, if you're not feeling happy with it, then it would never be enough, right? And always try to do better and to do more of what they, they would be happy with. Like, you know, sometimes we just feel tired and it's not because we've done too much, but it's because we have done too little of what makes us happy. And also to follow their passion and their dreams. Never let their dreams to be only dreams. Um, I encourage people to have a plan and no matter how long it will take, it will be one day that they, they would be able to achieve it. And in the end, you will see the results. Yes, of course. That is an amazing advice. Thank you so much, Sana. Thanks Thank you. for having me. Thank, Thank you, you for joining. Thanks for all this beautiful art you're creating for people around. Thanks for inspiration and for your positivity and an amazing you. energy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching my home program. And remember, try to do as much as possible of the things which make you happy. See you next time.